so welcome back everyone to another round of Plant Nomads. I am here at a very specific location in the game. A place you generally don't come that often, especially since there's not even any land right here. I mean, there's some land over there, but it's not really that much. But you see how quickly the inn is moving around. I am right here, right at that spot, just above the North Pole. That's right. I am here above the North Pole. So all, oops, I did not mean to place that there. That's supposed to be over here at this spot. Uh, so I went all the way from there up to here now. And now we have the other side of the planet to start working our way down, doing scans until we get back here and then rotate back around and come all the way back full circle to the base. But for today, we've got another design to look at as far as a scout vessel. So today's design is called the Superbug or Bug Mark III. This comes to us from Yimrick. And this is a new version of one he's done in the past. He had this. I'm pretty sure it was this exact same one tied into one of his other designs where it was basically mounted up above. You took a single block out and it was its own separate design that would drop into the top of the other design so it could actually sit and be carried. But this is a standalone. It's got solar power, as you can see, with some batteries. We have uh, more batteries there. We have a switch, which is just switchboard. And let's see, probably just switchboard as well. We have item or a conveyor connector there. And I'm assuming we got an item dispenser, though I'm not seeing it yet. And uh, more switchboards up top. So interesting systems. Solar X feed, which is a normal thing that he does. And planet uh, panels and batteries. So we have all of that. Let's see. We have our six minutes with one panel over here getting 100% charge. We've got some storage in there. Uh, yeah, so it's not super massive, super powerful looking. It's a bug, but it's supposed to be ooh, very fast. It does use a little tweak, of course, to be able to fly super fast. And we're hitting. OK, for a second there, that might have been because of me turning a little bit. But, oh, yeah, we're getting close to all right, 480, 500 <laughs> as stuff. Oh, uh, you know, finally spawns in. I've already made it all the way out to here. Wow. Okay. So very, very fast. I'm definitely thinking this is a keeper just for the fact to be able to do a very quick, you know, trip back somewhere. Cause that, that was extremely fast. And unlike previous designs I've played with that do the same thing. That was not very laggy. Yeah, it's laggy with the terrain spawning in, but it wasn't laggy like past designs have been with the same speed boost element to them. So it has a bit of drift. It seems with the vertical uh, movement. So if I get here and I just kind of stop. Yeah, it. it moves forward so definitely make sure this is one that you kind of start to you know lower in height before you get lined up with where you want to be or just be sure to keep tapping backwards so it looks that the only place to access storage on this is underneath one of the switches which means you have a very good chance of either accidentally triggering the switch when you're trying to access the storage or Accidentally triggering something with that. Yeah, see, I, right there, I triggered two uh, switch and the marker while I was trying to target the container. So taking a look a little bit more into the description, the containers are 120 slot zip boxes, courtesy of Cytales. So not your normal container. So you do have a lot of storage on it. But it is kind of a specialty type storage uh, trick. So, yeah, that's that's really like just some kind of hacked or modded type thing. Uh, looking also at the description, because there's no hinges 
no suspension, nothing like that. It helps with the performance, which is what we saw, how well it performs. It's supposed to be able to hit around 600 kilometers per hour. However, at a certain point, it will have an issue that it flips around backwards because of some balancing issues. So you have to kind of correct it gently while you're flying at high speed or at some point you'll have a problem. It's supposed to be able to pretty much drop it and let it charge quickly, but even 100% showing on that solar panel there from the sun over there, I'm not actually producing enough power to charge it right now. But I have moved a good bit further from the North Pole down to here. We have a distress beacon over there, a man-made wreck showing. So let's see how quickly we can use this to get over there, which is 1.8 kilometers away. And we'll just see kind of roughly how long does it take to go from here to there. And let me get everything ready. And three, two, one, go. Now, I've already picked up another one that did delay things a little bit. And of course, leaving the area with the space station build is going to, you know, cause it to lag a little bit as it unloads that. And then, oh, we got more and more. And I, I've already sh overshot it. Uh, one of the things about the battery and panels switch is it's also meant to separate everything so that let's say I take that back to the base. I, you know, stop at the base. One of the things I can do is I can tie it in through that connector to the base power and let the base do a rapid recharge on the batteries instead of relying on the solar power. It's really more of the solar powers. If you are far away from your base getting low, you can stop and let it start recharging. It just doesn't seem to be doing that quick recharge that was kind of described in the description and let's actually get a little look underneath so just a couple of batteries underneath that's really all it is and so there we go that was a very quick trip from there to here and look at all the other pieces i've got let's go to there let's do a trip in that direction i think that's the right direction roughly that direction yeah let's go to this uh well if i i don't crash into the water it did kind of dip down at that point but let's go see if i can get to this uh monolith quickly and another thing in the description because of the three air blades you don't get a lot of vertical climb speed uh and of course the forward momentum is from that little trick with the who drive that's built with the wheel so, yeah, that momentum vertically is kind of a problem if you're flying towards a mountainside. But, oh, yeah, like that the mountain that uh, spawned or rendered in after. Oh, no, 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 go, stop, stop, stop. And I'm still going. This is me holding the brake or, you know, the backwards button. That's how much further away I went. Oh, yeah. It, this is really good in terms of speed and getting around, but it, for me, I really want a radar on this now because a radar would mean easy mapping the entire planet type travel. And I'm already being attacked and I haven't even like gotten outside yet. Really? Did I hit one of them with the leg or something? I'm sorry, little weird sluggy lizard type things all right so we got that and let's just to see how well it handles we'll tie it into the solar and battery one so we're at 87 and it's 33 minutes left on it yeah 33 minutes of battery power now with the radar plugged in and Oh, for a second it was lagging up to do the here's the new map update not quite there yet does seem to be at least holding consistent on the time there instead of rapidly decreasing and now we're at to an hour four minutes so really it pretty much 
if you add the radar to it, it's going to have what you have left in terms of time. But just jumping in and doing that real quick is kind of nice. And you see, I'm actually on like a nice little trip back to the original starting point, the original skate pod. I could get there pretty quickly, I expect. And now, roughly in the correct direction, I think... Uh, yeah, that curve just throws it off so much. But I think I'm roughly in the right direction. Here we go. Straight trip back. No stopping. And just see how well this performs. All right, that's 550. I'm getting close to the 600 kilometer mark, which is supposed to be, according to the description, once you break 600 kilometers, if you don't gently adjust for deviations because of balancing, you see how it's doing. That's where you're going to have that part that makes you flip. And I think I might have, okay, I might have recovered there. It looked like I was possibly going to be stuck with it flipping anyway. Oh, yep. I saw that a show. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Still getting this like forward movement when I'm moving down with it, which then i seem to be overcompensating when I tap forwards or tap backwards is giving me that lurch move. Like right now it's not lurching so bad, but a moment ago it was, you know, jerking forward a bit and throwing things off. So let's see if that's, you know, okay, that's tied in. So everything's recharging. I think I might leave it that way. All right. So that is the super bug or the bug Mark three by Yimrick. It is a very speedy little uh scout vessel has got some functionality it's got the you know enhanced storage containers for 120 slots each so you actually have 360 slots of storage it's all solar powered but obviously the solar doesn't seem to be doing enough to actually charge it so i'm charging it from the base power so i would recommend you make sure you plan for that but really, I mean, in terms of general utility, I see this mainly for scouting, going to different places around the map. If you need to be like, hey, I want to go over here real quick and get whatever supplies there are, fly over there, get it, hit some of those spots. You've got plenty of storage to store whatever you get. And yeah, just fly around, then make your flight back to your base. Be done with it. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode of Plant Nomads and this look at the Superbug. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.